Langham Creek ready for a wild game one on a rainy Thursday night at U of H. Top of the second, Pearland at bat. Ground ball up the middle. Thomas Tolby, nice sliding top. Then he throws back to third, and they get Bailey Cummings, who overruns the bag. Big play. More defense now. Top of the second. Bailey Frank at third starts the six, four, three, double play. Very nice for the Lobos. The rain coming down now, but the game goes on. We'll pick it up. Bottom of the third, Langham Creek. Corey Holland at bat, and Corey lines it to center, but Caleb Malley with the nice sliding grab. Bottom four, more defense. Langham Creek's Mike Honer, chopper. Craig Maddies comes up, off balance throw, and he is out. It's still scoreless. Let's go to the six. Langham has a runner on second, no outs. John Michael Sofer is at bat. Check this out. He gets hit by the pitch. He trots to first, but wait a second. The umpires confer, and then they rule that he intentionally took the hit, and he's called out. Coach Armando Cedeno can't believe it, and Coach is livid. A rare call by the umps, but it stands, and the game remains scoreless. Lobos pitcher Connor Ferguson, seven innings of shutout ball. There's a K in the seventh. And how about Pearland starter, Mason Van Noort? He allowed two hits in eight innings of work and no runs. Top eight, Pearland has the bases loaded, two outs, but Brady Perez, the reliever, gets the strikeout. Bottom nine, still scoreless. Langham Creek's Corey Holland is on second base. John Michael Sofer at bat. And this time, he hits a little flare to left field and it drops. And Holland will score easily. This, the one and only run of the game. A wild game one. As Langham Creek wins in nine innings, one nothing is the final.